Hi, I'm going to show you a tutorial about how I made these pedal pots. They're really, really easy to make. This is the first one I made. And um, you can see um, there's a few in there that are really used up. And I think it's this one and the pur purple and white. And you can see as you continue to use it, you just make so the hole just gets bigger and bigger. Um, the first time I made it, I, I got this little thing from my daughter's um, paint by number kit. And um, I figured uh, these would work well. I went to Michael's and I found these, which are perfect, I think. They're um, a storage case for beads. And they're um, about the size or diameter of a nickel. I made one yesterday and it came out perfect. This is a blue and white petal pot. First thing that, I, that is really important is that when you choose to mix two different colors, make sure it's the same paint. Um, first time I did it, I used Snazaru and Tag together, this yellow one, and it doesn't really mix very well. I tried it, and you need more water for the, um, the white than you, uh, the Tag white than you would for the Snaz, so that didn't work. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of them I made with Tag. And I'm going to start with the ones where I have the white on the bottom because that was the main reason why I made these because I didn't want to dip my paint in blue and then dip it into my white, ruin a whole white batch. So this is the reason why I came up with this. And um, here I'll pick this one that I like to use a lot. It's purple and white. And the way you use, the way I like to use them is that I hold it on a 45 degree angle and just rotate your brush around or you can do big turns like that. You can see that it's a nice variation of from white to purple. And I'll do a little example here. There you go. Let's get a little bit closer. Came out pretty good. Since then I've been trying to improve it more because um, you can only come up with one type of stroke with the um, with the pots and so you have to make several different colors to get all these variations. I'm trying to do it in a way where we can um, get two different colors um, and you can use them in reverse. And this is what I call a reverse petal pot. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pot, a clear pot like this. It's actually a plastic tube with um, end caps and you can remove each side. Here's one that I made the other day, if you look at it like this, you can see there's a hole that goes right through it, white side, red side. These are a little bit harder to work with, a little more practice. My, my whole thing with these is that when you, when, you dip your, when you dip your brush in the water, you gotta make sure it's not completely sopping wet. See, there's a, it's about to drip. That's too wet. I like to tap the metal part over here so I can so it'll be wet enough but not completely soaking wet and you put it right you can put it right in here the way I did with the other one the regular petal pot and I'm twirling it and twirling it there you go I think that's magenta and white yes yeah, magenta and white and 
a little bit wet, added too much water. Let's do it again. Okay, let's try it now. I usually test it out before I place it on the face. It's a lot better. That's going from white to red. Although this one looks a little pink. We can clean that off and try it again. I think I had too much water on it. Again, you want to dip it in, try to tap off most of the water. Stick it in there, 45 degree angle, twirl it. If the white is not, white enough, I'll, I'll flip it around and I'll just put my tip along the edge and get more, pick up more white. That's much better. It goes, goes from white to, to magenta. That looks way better. Um, I'm going to use the same one. Except I'm going to dip it on the other side and go from red to white. So the tip is going to be red and the ends and the inside of the brush is going to be white. You can always look at it on this side too. I, I kind of hold it like this and see where, I'm, where my brush is working. And here we go. Same petal pot gives you two different petals. From magenta to white, from white to magenta. Let's see the different variations. So you can stick it in this way, turn it around, stick it in this way if you want the reverse color. That's why I came up with this. Still working on them. They're not really that easy to use as you can see so the first one didn't come out that well it's all a matter of how much water you have on your on your brush and tapping it does help okay now i'm going to make one out of one of these bead beaded pots they come in a case of one two three four five probably like 25 it looks like um really easy to use what i like to do it's already like pretty sharp over here is i score the cake the color i want to use the, well i'm making a, a blue and white one this one is a blue and white one with the blues on top this one's going to have the blue on the bottom and you can see both of them I'm not going to make the cut right away. I just want you to see the circle there. Now, if you have a straw, I like to use these um, plastic protectors that actually come with the um, brush. You know, I usually pull them off and throw them away. I actually kept a few. And they're a little bit stronger, more sturdier than a straw. The circle that I cut over there, or I scored, see that? I'm going to place, I'm going to score another circle, eyeball it right in the center. I'm going to push it in, just like that. And now I have. A tiny hole within that circle. I always save the paint, put it back in there, extra, extra paint. Okay. Take my pot now, go back, center it over the hole, and push down. 
It's in there. I got that. And if you can do it in a way, it'll, it'll come up. The whole piece will come up. If it doesn't, you can get a craft knife. There we go. The whole piece came out exactly the way I wanted it. I'm going to push it in there. It's right there, like that. It's scored. Now I'm going to use the white. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the blue. Find an area, and the paint's still in there. Score the paint. Scored right there. Got a circle. Grab your straw, center it on the in the circle. Paint comes right out with it. Now pull it out. There we go. And if you if you look at it, you could see exactly if the holes line up, mine are lining up. That one came right out. Perfect. I got my hole in there. Next, I'm going to push it down in there. Of course, you can just use your fingers. I, Using this little gadget I got out of my daughter's Play-Doh kit. It's kind of like a dowel. Just going to push it down to the bottom. down. Here's one with the blue on top. Here's one with the blue on the bottom. When I make, when I put the white on the bottom, I actually put an extra layer in there or like one and a half. Um, it looks like there's a lot more white, but actually it's just kind of squished up on top there. But there's a, uh, it's like three quarters or uh, two thirds white and, and one third blue. But um, if the blue is going to be on the bottom, um, then you could, um, I would just, you know, keep, you can add another layer of white. I just think that because white gets um, bled into so easily, I might need to score it again. Or, you know, if the hole got small, sometimes the hole gets small, I'll just go in there with a thing and with a little the end of a brush. There you go. There's a hole. It's on the other side too. You can see the hole there. Alright, and I'm gonna use both of these now. I'm gonna use my funky fox. I'm gonna clean it off. This might be too long. First, I'm going to dip it into the one that's white and blue on top. Again, I have it on a 45 degree angle and I'm twisting. So you, I think you can see from blue to white, it's kind of really good. I just dipped it in once. There's a petal. I'm just going to make a few petals here. Show you what it looks like. Pretty nice. So far, if you wet your brush well enough and you get used to it, I, I've been able to make get at least 20 petals out of one load. 
I'm gonna load it into my new one that I just made. And this is the one with the white on top. I might need to put another layer of white in there a little bit more, but again, I'm gonna tap it in there. There we go. This one just made it. I'm just trying to get some more blue in there. I think I had way too much water on this. That's all right. There you go, from blue to white. This one was a little too wet. It's okay. Just clean off your um, brush and try it again. As you can see, the first time I did it, it was too wet. This one's much better. Right there, it's dripping. There we go. You can see that they give you a different look. Next, these petal pots, reversible ones, are pretty much made the same way. Um, you score your pot, the circle, and then you score it again with a straw or with one of your plastic protectors of your uh, brushes. Push it in there, pick it up, do it again in the other color, and then you can use it on both sides like this. Exactly how I did it here. Just going in there. I haven't done three layers yet. I'm not sure if that's going to work with these. It's the next um, experiment for me. I hope that helped. People have been asking me a lot about how these are made, and it's just, I mean, you can do it with your fingers, of course, but this, I think, this comes out a lot neater if you just. Just use the, the, the pot itself to score it. And you come out with these really interesting fast petals that you can do without ruining your whites. By the way, I use um, chameleon paint for these. I like them. And I'm going to try this whiting one more time. Ah, that's really good. That came out. There you go. Nice petals. Good luck.